Hey guys, so today I'm opening up the February 2018 Art Snacks box. And if you're not familiar with Art Snacks, it is a monthly subscription. And you can pay $24 a month for a box. You can also do six months for $132 or a year subscription for $240. So let's open this up. Ooh, I love my sticker I got this month. We're going to look at it first. So each month you get a sticker with the Art Snacks logo. And it looks like they gave me a little fancy one for February. You also get a card that tells you about the different items in the box. You get your Art Snack for the month. And I got some sweet tarts for February. You also get your items in the tissue, and sometimes they'll send you items that you know are too big, don't fit in the tissue, and they will be loose in the box. It looks like they sent me a piece of watercolor paper, so I'm assuming that's going to be for something in here. So typically, like I said, your items will be wrapped in tissue unless, of course, they don't fit. Usually you get this nice green color. Sometimes they change up the tissue for holidays and special occasions. So let's open this up. Ooh, look at that. Okay. So I'm going to jump in first with the watercolor. So this is the, I know I'm going to butcher this. Sennelier French Artist Watercolor. This is new to Art Snacks and it's a staff favorite. Paint like a French Impressionist with these artist watercolors. These rich watercolors evoke the timeless beauty and vibrancy of southern France. Formulated with honey from the Alps, they boast incomparable brilliance and luminosity. The triple milled pigments have been produced in the same way for more than a century, giving these watercolors exceptional intensity and smoothness. All right, let's see, they sent me blue and white. I love these little silver tubes that they're in. Looks like it's got their logo down here on the bottom as well. So we're gonna have to hold off on those till we get to the paintbrush. This is a little guy, he is tiny compared to look at my other paintbrush little short guy. Okay, let's read about the paintbrush. So this is the Raphael Mini Precision Brush. This is new to Art Snacks. High quality watercolor paints deserve a high quality paintbrush. Don't be fooled by its adorable small size. The Raphael Mini Precision Brush, flat size 2, is what they sent me, is a state-of-the-art synthetic watercolor brush. It mimics the exact performance of sable hair creating the most accurate brush strokes of any synthetic brush on the market. The bristles hold pigment well while also retaining their shape stroke after stroke. All right, so let's go ahead and test out our watercolor. Ooh, this is an interesting looking blue. No, nope, white's not going to be that bad. Okay, so I'm going to wet my brush. Probably need to get some that's not in all that slimy stuff, but so far, it's looking really nice. Let's make a tint. Ooh, that's very pretty. So I'm loving how the colors are reacting with one another. I love this brush. It's working very well with the paper that they sent me. Also with the watercolor. Well, I was trying to get some blue without all this extra liquid, but it doesn't seem to be working. So I'm not really sure if you're a watercolorist I don't typically use tube paint, um, so I tried kind of squeezing it and moving it around, trying to mix it up a little bit, but it's still pretty watery. 
but it seems to be doing fairly well. It really does well with the white added to it, mixing in the color with it. So I don't know, pretty happy with that. And again, I'm not 100% sure how to make the blue not so runny. Um, again, I don't typically use tube paint when I watercolor. But other than that, it works really well with the paper that they sent me, and I really like this little um, brush. It's The bristles are nice and sturdy. They make a very good, I think you can hear it, brushing sound on the paper. So I like the little sound that it makes, and I like the size. It's very cool. Alright, so the next thing we got is a Faber-Castell Gold Faber Sketching Pencil 2H and this retails for a whopping 95 cents. It says lightly sketch your outline before painting with this 2H Faber-Castell Gold Faber Sketching Pencil. Made from finely ground graphite and clay, the lead is crafted for a smooth, consistent laydown. You won't need to constantly sharpen this pencil either. Its core is fully bonded with the wood for extreme durability and break resistance. Well, that is good to know. So let's test out. Ooh, this does write very well. It does feel nice and sturdy. I can't explain it, but it does when I'm writing with it. It just, it feels solid. The tip, and I'm pressing down really hard. I'm not getting any kind of cracking or giving in the tip here, because I mean, I'm grinding it down. I'm sure I'll have marks on that next page into the paper. But the tip is not wanting to give up. So I really like that. All right, what is our last little dude? So I'm very familiar with these. This is a Sakura Pigma Micron PN. And this is a new product. Micron lovers rejoice. Sakura has introduced the Pigma, Pigma Micron pen, a new pen suited for everyday writing and drawing featuring the same quality. Pigma ink performance. Its durable plastic nib produces consistent fine or medium lines. The archival ink is also quick drying and waterproof, making this pen the perfect companion to your new watercolors. So I gotta say I am really digging this tip. I use these a lot and I'm used to using the felt tip. So the PN stands for plastic nib. So if you're out looking at micron pens and you're like, what the heck does that mean? That is the plastic nib. So I may have to get me a set of these because the thing about the felt tip um, micron pens is after a while, you know, your tip tends to get slanted or flattened. So I'd really like to try this guy. I'm liking this. So I may have to do some searching and find, see if I can find a drawing set of these. Alright, and last but not least, the watercolor paper, my little piece, is a bonus item new to Art Snacks. Try out your new watercolors on a bonus sheet of 140 pounds. Fabriano Artistico watercolor paper. This 100% cotton paper is sturdy and durable and can withstand heavy layering and erasing. So I think it reacted really well with the watercolor. It didn't seem to warp too bad when I used it. So that is everything for the month of February. I'm really interested to check out some more sizes of my new micron pen. Definitely going to do some sketching with this guy. I really like this and its sturdy tip. Also really like my paintbrush they sent me. I may be using this a whole lot more. 
So all in all, I'm pretty happy with what I got in the box. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is the watercolor. And, you know, like I said before, I don't typically use tube watercolor. But other than that, I feel like it, you know, did very well on the paper. The colors worked very well together. So I'm pretty happy with these. And that is everything for the month of February. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.